I've been asked to come in and, and talk on, on my experience as, as a sports person uh, coming up through the ranks as, as a young kid and, and obviously being in your position uh, coming into college and, and getting, getting on, being on a professional, a professional list of, 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 um, of good players so, and good uh, sports pre people. Um, so I, I joined NUIG, I came to NUIG when I was uh, 19. I was, it was 2013, 2012, 2013, just as, as a, a teenager going to, going to enjoy college life, uh, to play a bit of rugby and, and to enjoy the crack with my friends. But also um, I had, a, had an opportunity with, with uh, Connacht. They gave me an academy contract uh, to, to go and, and train like a professional every day in a professional setup and um, to just try and, try and push through and, and become, become a, a professional athlete. Um, so yeah, I, I started there and um, I got a bit of luck with, uh, with injuries uh, in the squad and um, it was just Eric Elwood who, who gave me my shot. It was, uh, so I, I was 19 at the time and uh, getting my first cap against Exeter away. Uh, came on off the bench and it was um, a great moment for me and um, I was al also trying to study and, and run to lectures as well as training every day and um, go to the library and catch up and do little things like that but um, it wasn't easy uh, and there was a, a lot of lectures missed but um, I suppose the advice I, I, I'd like to give to, to you students here is to create, create a relationship with your lecturers and with the college I know you, you'll have um, full schedules of training and you'll have to be in college also and, and try and manage it, but I suppose uh, with the help of NUIG and being able to talk to, to the right people, they'll, they'll help you out and um, I think with the, the, they'll, they'll sort everything out for you. I, they, they helped me get um, some, some extensions on assignments and I, I was able to manage my, my, uh, my degree uh, year by year, so I, I extended it a couple of years because of the workload. I wasn't able to, to do it all. So, just little things like that. I'd, I'd advise you to um, to go and go and talk talk up and, and don't be shy because certainly in my first year I, I was quite shy and I didn't um, I didn't go to, to the lectures and, and talk to them and say, listen, I'm kind of struggling here. With, I've a, I've a big workload outside of college and um, they they probably they understand then. So. Uh, that's, that's just an example of, of, of uh, what, I, what I'd say to, to go and do. Um, so yeah, there's, it's been going well for me personally. Um, obviously making the World Cup squad during the summer was, was a massive, uh, massive goal of mine. And for, for you guys, uh, you're, in, you're in a great position to, to become a professional athlete and, and to go on to the next level. Uh, on that, I'd, love to, I'd like to congratulate you for, for making it into the, the elite, the elite uh, scholarships. So um, yeah, I just saying, yeah, having goals and being able to achieve those goals weekly. It could be, if you're a sprinter, it could be shaving off a couple of seconds in, or a couple of milliseconds in, in, in your sprint or whatever, you know? So I think having, having those goals and trying to reach them week by week is a, is a massive way to, to strive for, for, to get successful. Um, but yeah, balancing college work and sport, is, it's, it's, it's hard and being able to switch off and being able to, to meet friends and um, recovering well is, are, are massive blocks of, uh, of being a, a professional athlete and, and being in your position. I think you need to be able to, to go and, and chill with friends and be able to get away from college and get away from sport as well. I think it's, it's a massive, massive factor in, in being successful. And the mental side to, to being a professional athlete is, is just as important as, um, as the, the physical side. And we're, we're trained up in, in Irish camp. We have our, our sports psychologist who, who we meet every day, Enda McNulty, and he's, he's been a fantastic help for me alone, for nerves before games. Uh, being able to deal with a crowd of 80,000 people in a game is, um, is, is pretty daunting your first time you go out there. And um, just going by your own routine and being able to do that week in, week out. I think uh, a key example of, of a guy who I really look up to and a guy who, who has a routine that he sticks by day by day, week by week, he hasn't changed it. And he was under big stress a couple of years ago. He was, he was nearly close to retiring with injuries he, he, he had received on the rugby pitch. And 
unfortunately he, he's our skipper he was our skipper Paul O'Connell and he he got a nasty injury in our in our game against Argentina but I really looked up to him in, in terms of he he'd, he'd been through the system he was in UL he he did his his degree and he he managed himself on and off the pitch uh, like I'm trying to do but um, still learning how to do it um, but yeah Paul Paulie was um, uh, an inspiration to our team he um, Every day he'd he'd do his he'd do his extras he'd do his rehab he'd do his um, psychology on the computers and I just re really learned learned from him that he was uh, real punctual about his work and he was just always nailed on every time he he was on the pitch he'd, he'd be the first man out there doing doing his uh, his warm up so he wouldn't get injured and um, as I said he was he was close to to retirement a few years ago with a couple of nasty injuries he had. Um, so yeah, that's that's basically everything I've I've kind of gone through just to 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 say what 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 I've experienced and um, you guys are in a really good position. I think you've you've a massive opportunity here in in, in NUIG. The the uh, facilities here are second to none, and I think um, just set out your goals and uh, have have a plan for for what you want to do. And um, best of luck with everything. Cheers.